Hey, Sylvia in the Bronx, New York. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut bifocal lenses with Transitions Gray for your Ray-Ban 2132 color 622, which is the matte black rubber in the 52 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me in. Your Italian leather Ray-Ban case, your frame, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and junk mail just because you don't get enough of it in your mailbox already. So all the rubber frames come with a little plastic bag, but all Ray-Ban frames come with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it's being shipped from Italy. And of course, you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging as I have received them. This is your frame. It is the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, color 622 in the 52 eye size. And of course, all New Wayfarers are made in Italy. So let me pop out your original heavy glass lenses. That's what lenses, the glass lenses sound like, and I'm going to install lightweight lenses in its place. So I'm going to take your frame, and I am going to trace it into, hang on one second, one second, one second. I've got to do something here. Got to program some things. There we go. Now I'm just going to trace the shape of your right lens. The stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and trace the shape of the right side of the frame before moving over and doing the same thing for the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts have my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether these are prescription or not and of course Sylvia you do need well you only need prescription non-prescription at the top but you do need an extra 150 at the bottom that is the shape of your lens magnified I'm just going to minify it down that green outline is the shape of the lens I will be cutting I'm going to go ahead and magnify that for now do one setting on there for now too I also do want to do one more thing here let's go ahead and bring that down to 15 this is a line style bifocal. I'm going to put up that grid. Now this is your right lens. I'm going to place it onto the platform. This is called a block. I like to call it Jenny from the block. I believe she was from your neighborhood. But I need to attach a double sided adhesive sticker to these so it will stay attached to your lens while it is cutting. So I have a couple of those up here. I'm going to pull these away. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick one onto the first block. I'm going to do the same thing now for the second block. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Now if you notice there's a little silver button on the back. That's going to do its job twice. The first one is to hold it in place in the arm just now. The second time will be in the edger. But I have this grid up so it shows me exactly that I have the lens lined up there straight. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Give me a second. This always takes me a little bit longer but I'll make sure everything is perfect. I'm going to hit that button and the arm is going to come down and place the block onto your right lens. Make sure that is the right. Yes. Now we're going to do the same thing for the left. Place it there. And again, I don't want it in there crooked. That's why I have that graph that tells me I'm laying it out on a straight line. And everything is very, very straight. Let's say pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Put that button in there. Hit that button. And now the block is going to be applied to your left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It does all the work. It weighs 200 pounds. I always recommend everyone go out and buy their own so you can cut your own lenses at home. You won't need me anymore. But I'm going to take your right lens. The magnet's going to do its job its second time. It's going to hold it in place into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck. I'm going to hit that button to pull up the shape of your lens on the computer. Tell the lens, the machine what type of lens that is cutting. I do not want to put a, I don't want to polish the lens. I don't want to put a bevel on the front surface, the convex surface of the lens. I only want to put a safety bevel on the rear concave side of the lens. I'm going to hit that green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. You can see as it's going around, making sure it's large enough. And now it's going to measure its job, measure twice, that old carpenter saying measure measure twice cut once but it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing 
Now in just a moment your lens will drop down onto the cutting wheel. Now your lenses have both UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin from overexposure where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every few hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and will never need to be reapplied. Now your lens is getting the, the V-shaped bevel cut into the bottom of the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. That lever is coming out. At the end of that lever is a little spinning wheel, something you would find at the end of a Dremel tool. That is what's applying the safety bevel to the rear surface of the lens. Just to make everything nice and smooth left over from the cutting cycle. Now in just a moment I will open this door with my mind and I will take your lens out. You like that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes a couple hours. I have to keep staring at it, but I can do that. So I just want to use my thumbnail to scrape away any optical debris. I'm going to take your frame, tuck the left lens in, I'm sorry, the right lens in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, I press down, it snaps in. Let's do the same thing now for the left lens. I'm going to put it into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Hit the, oops, damn, look at that. Hit the wrong button. Let's move over to the left lens. That's what I was trying to do. Hang on, I've got to reprogram everything real fast. I apologize. Plastic, that, no bevel, no bevel. Left lens, and start. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing, as it's going around. And now that it knows it's large enough, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to move the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And of course, in this frame, you have absolutely none. So let's go ahead and take this block off it's no longer needed. Pull that sticker off. I'm gonna come down here to my Marco 101 lensometer. I'm gonna put the lens in, measure the power at the top. Let's read the power off of there and I am getting zero. There is no power, no prescription in the top of the lens. I'm going to read the bifocal power out of the bottom. And I'm getting plus 150, exactly halfway between one and two. Now the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter. It starts at zero and goes up from there. 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one, one and a quarter, 150. Now you are farsighted. You can see far away, great, but you need six steps of correction one and a half diopters to see anything up close so that will magnify by six steps giving you a total of one and a one and a half diopters of reading power now Sylvia in the Bronx South Bronx South South Bronx well, that's not your neighborhood but <coughs> just saying but years from now, if you ever need a stronger lens, I can send you lenses only right to your home that you can install and you don't have to buy a new frame again. This frame will last you for years. In fact, I myself have personally been wearing this frame for the last five years in various colors. I have one set of prescription lenses that I pop in and out into a different color every day, depending on what color shirt I am wearing. So I'm gonna tuck the left lens in at the outside corner, use my thumbs, press down let's go ahead and check the power of the left lens read the prescription out of the top I am getting zero no prescription clear window pane glass let's check the bifocal power hang on I gotta move it up to check the bifocal power that scared me for a second and we're getting 1.5 doctors exactly one and a half halfway between one and two so this is the point in every video that as I'm cleaning your lenses and I mention, of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, Sylvia, there's a small chance that actually let me use your cloth to clean them. There's a small chance that these will fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That is because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that, 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local place and tell them if it's feeling too loose or too tight or high on one side. It only takes about 30 to seconds to a minute for someone to properly adjust a pair of glasses so they won't move again. 
but I'm still going to go ahead and get them in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. I have one ear that's higher than the other. That's why they won't sit level on the counter, but they sit level on me. And of course, I'm wearing the exact same frame and size as you, the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer. You're getting color 622 in the black rubber. I'm wearing color 6144 in the silver metallic because it matches my wisdom highlights that I have growing in. Can't you tell, <coughs> excuse me, can't you tell how smart I am? I also field test every cleaning cloth that I send you. Not only are you going to get the Ray-Ban cloth that comes with your case, but I also include instructions on how to not only care for your eyeglasses, but for your your case and both cleaning cloths so they will last you for years. I test every cleaning cloth to make sure that they work. I don't want to send you a defective one. Sorry, a little optical humor there. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little tickled. But this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them in my little transitions box here in the corner. Now, as you will see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for our transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer when you come back inside, about 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now, Sylvia, this is important. Pay attention. All transition lenses will turn dark on day one. Give them two weeks of exposure to the sun, and they're going to continue to darken every day for the first two weeks until they reach their maximum color. Now, after that, they will work for years with maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're inside of a vehicle. Windshields have UV inhibitors to protect the dashboard from cracking from sitting in the sun all day. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken, or as soon as you get out of a car, they will darken. Now, the other thing that's important this time of year, they are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. When it's triple digits outside like it is now, you're miserable, they're miserable, everyone is miserable. No one likes to work 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. As soon as it cools off in the fall, they're going to get very dark again. Now, Sylvia, this is the first time your lenses have been darkened. Don't worry, they're going to continue to darken. Come on, Sylvia, we talked about that. But if anyone else has any questions, just email me through this link or at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Sylvia, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut non-prescription reading bifocals with a plus 150 reader in the bottom no prescription in the top so you can wear these all the time without having to take them on and off like you do reading glasses and again this is the ray-ban 2132 new wayfarer color 622 in the matte black rubber and the 52 eye size and hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how i bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you